because the next thing you're going to do is you are going to use iPlots. Now iPlots is an online application, online website. It's free. I tried to make sure that I could get you free access to these tools. And let me go down here. If we go down, you'll see that there is a link to iPlots. Now, the link will take you to a page that has prices. The one column I want you to notice is this one. What does that say? Free. Scroll down. You can do try now. Now at this point, you can either create an account. They do offer free accounts. I actually recommend creating an account if you feel comfortable because then you can save your design. Or you can just try iPlots. It just tells you, okay, you're going to log into demo mode. I actually read this at one point. I haven't read it since. And when you see the list of projects, those, those are basically projects other people have created in demo mode. What you want to do is create a new project. You can call it anything you want. Say, oops, test project, HCI. You'll see it's listed here. If you click on it, you go to, oops, if you click on it, you go to wireframe. It asks you what size you want your document to be. You can choose the size that you want. Now, iPlots is really, really easy. It is point and click. It's basically a sketching program. So if you look over here under components, notice some of the things that you have. You have buttons. You have button bars. You have check boxes. You even have cursors. You have forms, you have a formatting toolbar. You have menus and menu bars, depending on how you're going to design things. You also have a window. I recommend doing the window first. It's just drag it over. And it looks, it looks like a sketch. You can resize it to whatever size you want. If you want to change the title, you just double click on the title. And you have the beginning of your sketch. It has text labels as well as text input, an input box. All right, so you can line these up, you can resize them, you can change the text in them. It's Pretty idiot proof, actually. As long as you're not intimidated, it's really easy. Let's see, what else? They have tooltips, they have trees, they have vertical rules. Let's see what else. They have radio buttons. You can even scratch things out. Yeah, I didn't like that. I'm just going to scratch that out there. So you can actually have different versions of your, of your form. It has panels. It has search bars, payback, playback controls. It has, uh, let's see, what else do people use? There are combo boxes. I don't know why it's coming out so wild, wide, but you know, they have combo boxes. You can you know, go ahead and, I don't know, this could be, a, I don't know, size or something. Or you can put, you know, large, small, whatever it is that you want. Of course, you can label it. You can have color pickers. You can have check boxes. And again, all of these are customizable. Oh, and there's a browser window if you want to have a browser window. There are buttons. You can change the label again. 
you want to move it around, you don't like it, click on it, move it. Easy, easy. So, what are you using iPlots for? Do you guys remember? You are doing, you are recreating your sketch. Your best sketch. You don't have to, no. You can if you want, but uh, no, you don't have to include the scratch out. You're going to be doing two things once you are done with this. One is you are going to take an image of your sketch and you're going to copy and paste it into a Word document. Because in the Word document, I want to see that sketch and I want to see why you chose that sketch over your other two sketches. And again, you need to be explicit. 